So, hello everybody! What is going on, dudes? It is Keepish Market here, and welcome back to some more The Legend of Zelda Oracle of Seasons. Last time, we went ahead and began our trip around, um, well, uh, Hollow Drip once more after taking care of the boss, collecting a new heart container, too, actually, and Figuring out just what is left for us here within Hollow Drum itself. This time, even though we do know where we must go, we do know what we have to do. First off, we're gonna do a little bit more of um, traveling before we uh, take the path recommended to us, or more so just laid out before us. Yeah, we're gonna go a bit past where we came in from and get just what is available, or get what little extra thing we can get from just over here. We want to travel just beside the entrance to the temple and jump our way across, ignoring Maple. Enter this little place. Head down here. We've never really journeyed into here because we had no reason to, but now we do with the Goron. Big Goron is so big he can't fit in our cave, but it's so cold outside. The poor Goron. Poor Goron indeed. There's lots to see, lots of characters to talk to, and we see we are here with the Gorons. Welcome to Goron Mountain. It's too cold to go outside, so I'm all out of shape. Goron Mountain has always had winter year round. But ever since the temple season sank, it's gotten even colder. You can catch cold just going outside. So you see, they are having some difficulties with the weather changing. It's not really their choice. That's just how the weather is. Do you know of the Goron vase? All collectors want to have it. The Goron vase. Well, I remember someone remarking of it. Big Goron is up above, but he has cold, so... What? So be quiet. Uh -huh. I hate the cold. Hmm. See, they're here in... Well, they're here in the mountainside, relaxing and staying away from the cold as much as possible. Head up and out. We approach carefully. Big gore on his ear. Achoo! I'm all stuffed up. It's so cold. Do you have anything that can warm up a body? Oh, that smells good. Could I have that soup? Sure. We hand him over the iron soup, or the lava soup. It's a harmony of flavors. Thanks to you, I'm all better. I think this is a symbol of my gratitude. We got the Goron vase as thanks for the, the soup. It's a very nice vase. But we know where we can take that if we so continue, if we so choose to continue the trade sequence, or the trade quest. Try not to move, though we could have probably continued it a while ago. Head down here. Can't really do much with these, but what we can do, or we more so should do, drop a bomb, let's get our feather, just jump back, there we go. Here we have ourselves another ring, which is... Pretty awesome. Done. Now we have something else to get appraised. So let's move. There isn't much here, or wasn't, there isn't much for us around here, I believe. Yeah, really just a short snippet to check out and see. Well, let's get back out of Goron Mountain. Let's see, what's in this other exit before we go? <clears throat> Bless you! See, it's another entrance. Yeah, we definitely could have came here sooner, but I just haven't... I just honestly completely forgot. Yeah, we could have came here as soon as we got the lava suit. We could have done that whole thing, but we couldn't fully explore, so... Hey, it's really my excuses. I don't... I didn't see much of a reason for us to go, seeing as we couldn't collect everything within. Let's move. Let's take care of these things. Let's go back inside so we can travel elsewhere. Bye. Thank you. Wrong item. I keep doing that. I keep hitting start or select by accident. 
Alright, anywho. Cool, cool. Anything else? Nothing, no, okay. Let's get across. Boom. Now we're all set. Now we can return over here. Now we can explore the temple ruins and see everything. Just as the music please. Go. So, the Lionel is just having no reaction. Go. Nice. Let's move. Let's change the weather. Ow. Yes. Yeah, well, I wonder what happened. Okay. Let's swap this. Let's change the weather to summertime, and let's see now how we can fully explore the temple ruins. Again, this, all these areas could have been accessed as soon as you got various powers or various things, but I mean, in part, the guide doesn't go over too much, as well as there isn't really much of a reason to explore these places or try to get here as quickly as you think. Can't really enter the wall here, we can't go past it anyways. Can only kind of just go around. Yeah. So, how do we just backtrack on down? You take the other way. Yeah, itchy head, itchy head. Scratch, scratch, scratch. Some more dark nuts. Go on swinging. You're a fool. Come on, let's push on past all of you. Hmm. Assuming we can't do much over here either. Oddly specific pattern. See if there's anything to the left, at least. Or at least it gotta wait. We gotta change the weather once more. Apparently. Because with the weather, we need it perfect for us to explore. Fall. Always fall. I guess, I mean, that matches up with it being the fall of the ruins, so... That does sound very odd. Hi. Cool, mystery seed. Patches are filled in, but we have to move quickly. See a way open. I guess. Go. No point in going there. Down here. Change the weather if we like. Which we probably will have to. Yeah. You can't really access that without changing the weather, I'm guessing. So, let's change it to the only weather we know that works best. Which is, of course, the winter time. Because, you know, with winter we can pretty much access, like, almost everything. Too much there. You see, we can take that little side route. Yep. When in doubt, change the weather. Just don't hop down. That's where we need to go. Back into Subrosia. Boom. We're on the other side, and we see now we have access to the volcanoes. What in the world are you doing? This shoots off huge fireworks. It's just throwing stuff in there. Whoa! I could have probably... Bosky too? Okay, I could probably catch some of these. A star. Oh, hurt, yep. No. Banana, no. Gosh, the seed. I have to be like right in front of him, I'm guessing. Standing in the right spot? Sir, I need the things you're throwing. You stop that. <sighs> Tossing a bomb. Hmm. Alright, fine, I guess. I guess we'll do that. Nope. 
like that causing so rubbed and it kind of affects above world or above land. Whoa! You see that now with that we can actually access other portions of the map. Now that <laughs> the whole temple's in ruins. The dude is so happy. He did it! Cool! I don't think that was a good thing dude. Really? <laughs> oh gosh. Well, they see the mayhem we caused, we could be in big trouble for that. Nope, he's just gonna say you did it cool. <laughs> okay. Got it. We could go back. Is there anything here to do in sub Not really, actually. Who am I kidding? Yeah. All we can really do is just return back overworld and see the destruction we caused. <laughs> All the crazy mayhem that we released. Bombs. Wait has opened. And we have some navigating to do. Aha. Uh -huh. Oh, another piece of heart. That is heart piece number nine. There's still really one more eluding us, but that one more will take us a good while until it's completely obtainable. This is the actual route you're supposed to take. The way I did it, I just kind of skipped like a bunch of it. Right over here, we see the darkness are back. Really don't want to fight here, man. Nope, nope, nope. I told you. Don't listen to me. You can access the roof up there. Go. Two. Don't know if I need. I do need some. Okay. Let's go ahead. Let's change it up. Of course, the season. Set it to summertime. And then let's go and try to gain access to that northern cave. Ignore the other Lionel. Take the um, linear path, or you can take like a little shortcutted path. Oh, okay, that doesn't work. Got it. Ooh. Wow, that is really sensitive. Oh, okay. Whew. Go. Anything down here? No. Just jump across and we're good. Boom. Can access to somewhere else and it has lots of chews. You see we have the chance to use our magnet hands once more. You're done. Go. Making my life easier for when I have to take care of these things. Or for traveling really. No damn keys. I want to do this right, so boom, boom, no, boom. There we go. Run, 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 run. Cool, we made it across. Um, how to do this? Get away. I push you up. I push you to the right. I push you to the right. There you go. Actually, I'm going to push you to the right, to push you to the right. Boom! You're more so at the peak. Ah, damn it. I see, of course, Lionels are guarding this place, but that is no surprise. <sighs> Just a bit further. Ah, yes, my favorite enemy. Moldorms. And those little grass rats. Cool. Wait. No, don't you dare. Maybe 
then we could go up. I see the ground breaks. North was the way to go. So here anyways. Even though we could probably skip never mind, <laughs> that's too much already to we need to just break again. I'm lazy. No! Alright, whatever. Go! Made it to the other side. Another Lionel, of course. Take my hand off the controller for a second. Off the Game Boy for a second. Boom. Not much of the land left to see. Step up. We have fairies. And a port pad. A teleporter. Back in Sabrosia. We have nothing left. But the final dungeon. Level 8. The Sword and Shield Maze. Yep. It's gonna be a doozy. It's gonna be one hell of an adventure in this one. This cave, this temple, by far, it'll throw you. It'll throw you around a lot. <laughs> That's really all I can say about it. But yeah, we're gonna be in this one for a good while, so that'll be it for now. I know it wasn't a lot, but I hope you guys did enjoy. I hope you all continue to enjoy, of course. My gosh. <sighs> No maps, but we see there's a lot to explore. Hope you guys did enjoy, hope you all continue to enjoy. And I will of course be seeing all you dudes next time. Peace out everybody.